This is a special 4th of July for a man in Lyons. He's been selling fireworks now for mm, 50 years. He says now, however, it is also a family affair. Here's KSN Zan Meyer with his story. If you're driving through Lyons in early July, chances are you'll see the Brock family. Their fireworks stand is right along Highway 14. And we've got one now that's got 750 shots in it. All go at once. Gerald Brock won't say he's a fireworks expert, but he could be. He's been selling them since he was eight years old. My brother and I uh, wanted to uh, make enough money to go back and see our grandparents in California, so we just started out and what have you, and did it one year and just kept on doing it. When Daryl first started his fireworks stand, it was only about this big, about a good arm's length. But over the years, his stand has grown, and so has the variety of fireworks. Probably the strangest is this. It's called a killer alligator. It's got 25 shots in there, and it, it goes like an alligator does. Yeah, it's one of the weirdest ones. Names like the Goliath, State Pen, and Killer Alligator weren't around back in the 50s. And Daryl now shares his favorite pastime with the whole family. I have uh, two daughters and my wife, and now I've got uh, three grandchildren, and they all help along with my son-in-law. Growing up with a fireworks stand made Michelle Brock pretty popular with her friends, but her priorities have changed a bit. But now that I'm a little older, you know, you think, well, do you want to shoot it or do you want to sell it and make money? <laughs> when I was a kid, I didn't think about that part, but, but I do now. Thank you. It's a family tradition that will carry on for years to come. And next year, will you be back for more? Be back next year for more. Planning on it. In Lyons, Ann Meyer, KSN News. Now, since Daryl started selling fireworks, he's only missed two years. Back in the 60s, he worked at a grocery store in Hutchinson. And he said he was just too busy to open his stand on those years.